Hello everyone, this is Raz. Welcome back to my channel again. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to do data validation in Microsoft Excel. So data validation is a feature uh, which helps you to make your data entry organized. So let me go into the steps so that you can see how it works and what are its advantages, etc. Okay. So for example, we want to enter the data. And let's have some variables like serial number and then is and uh, gender okay so suppose we have these three different variables so if we have the sample size of 100 then our serial number can range from 1 to 100 right so how we can do the data validation or how can we specify the uh, how can we specify the data validation is first click on the entire column so when you click on that alphabet on the top of that particular column then that this entire column will be selected so just click it and then under data menu you can see data validation right so when you click on data validation here you see the three different buttons setting input message and error alert so under setting choose whole number between 1 and let's say 100 so under input message you can specify the title serial number and here input serial number from 1 to 100 so error alert you can set your custom error message or you can leave it as it is so now you can see in settings i set the whole numbers from 1 to 100 in input message i give the title and the input message and i left error alert to default and after doing these things i click on okay similarly let's try for a is okay so select this alphabet b on the top so this entire column will be selected click on data validation so in setting choose whole number between so let's say minimum of is zero and let's put the maximum is as 150 so we set the minimum and maximum based on our observation so we know that um, the minimum is so is cannot be less than zero and uh, it's uh, practically not possible for a person to live more than 150 years so let's say maximum is 150 so in the input message in the title you can write age here you can write inter age in years in the brackets you can write completed years something like that so you can put anything over here in the error alert you can specify your own error alert or you can customize it or leave it as it is and click on ok so gender so in click on that entire column so clicking on the little alphabet above uh, this variable so click on data validation and in the setting choose whole number between one and maximum let's say three in the input message title is um, gender in the input message one equals male enter and two equals to female three equals let's say other um, error alert leave it as it is and click on okay so now and you can give color to the, that particular um, header so now whenever you want to enter the data so serial number so it gives you the hint right because in data validation you had specified the title and the input message so here it says input serial number from 1 to 100 so let's say 1 is into the age in years between 0 and 150 so let's say 45 gender right one or two or three one for male two for, so it, it keeps uh, giving you the hint okay so if you type four let's say if you type four uh, by mistake 
and then try to move to the next section it doesn't allow you to go because you had uh, defined the data range between 1 and 3 so in, in data validation so the use of data validation feature in Maxib actually is that it helps you to define the value range okay so that whenever you are entering the data and by mistake if you if you press the wrong key then it doesn't allow you to enter that data um, but if you type 1 instead of 2 then it it allows the entry of data so you should be careful on that part otherwise if you try to enter the data out of range then max actual prevents you from entering that data so this is really a useful feature and data validation is useful when you are entering big data um, using max of actual and when you want to minimize the chance of errors in data entry so now let's say the, the guy is a male one okay so serial number two so if you try to enter 200 okay so it doesn't allow you to uh, enter the value because you are only allowed to enter the values between 1 and 100 so this is how data validation feature works using max of actual and if you if you think that this feature is useful um, try using it in your own research and also um, suggest it uh, suggest this feature to your colleagues and if you like this video please share it with your colleagues and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe so that i can be motivated to make similar useful uh, useful videos in the future thank you bye bye cheers